In versions of VectorWorks 2011 and prior, the set sun position and create solar animation commands were used to create solar animations and perform shadow analysis. As of VectorWorks 2012, the Heliodon tool replaces these commands as well as increasing their usefulness. Instead of a menu command, the Heliodon tool can be found in the visualization toolset in the design series versions of VectorWorks. However, to get the full use out of the tool, you'll want to have RenderWorks as well for its shadow and lighting capabilities. Here we have a 3D model of a building. To insert a Heliodon, activate the tool in the visualization palette, then click once to set the location, and finally rotate the Heliodon until it is aligned with your document's north. The exact location does not matter unless you are going to use it as a focus in the solar animation later. Normally, you will only be using one Heliodon at a time. You'll notice it shows you both the location as well as the time of day it is currently set to. As opposed to set sun position, where you needed to manually enter a latitude and longitude, you can simply select the nearest city to your location. Here you can see how the shadows would look on March 20th at 9 a.m. in Nuremberg, Germany. You can change the date and time either through the Object Info Palette or by clicking the Solar Animation button. Here you can adjust the date and time with slider controls and see updates live in OpenGL. You can also click Export Movie to create a solar animation. You can choose the start and end time, the time interval between frames, and what to animate. You can choose to animate the sun, this shows the shadows moving across a static model from your current view, the view from the sun to layer plane center. This will move the camera as if it was the sun and it was focused on the layer plane center. Or the view from the sun to the heliodon center. This will move the camera as if it was the sun focused on the heliodon itself, which was placed just below the north indicator earlier. The two views from the sun will show surfaces that are receiving sunlight at the set time and date. For these views, render modes with the shadows turned off will be more efficient, as the shadows will be hidden by the model in these modes. In addition, you can also create a physical sun and sky by checking the appropriately named boxes in the object info palette, giving you a very realistic look, especially towards sunrise and sunset, with a minimum of effort. This tool can be used simply for aesthetics, giving your model a more realistic feel in renderings. However, it creates shadow patterns that are true to life, allowing you to see where the sun will fall. This lets you account for important factors like window or skylight placement, as well as placement of more recent considerations, such as the location and angle of solar paneling. Thank you for joining us, and don't forget to visit kbase.vectorworks.net for more video tech tips and other technical info. Thank you, and have a great day.